Welcome everyone, Farmer Cobb here. Today we are going to do a guide on how to use the easy development commands in Farming Simulator 19. If this is what you're looking for, then please stay tuned. Alright folks, so as mentioned, we're going to go over the easy development commands, which if you don't know, it's the F11 screen I, F11 screen I constantly refer to. So we're going to go over most of the stuff in here, just the stuff that kind of matters. We're not going to go over some of the debugging and uh, stuff like the clean i 3D cache. We're not going to go over that, but we're going to go over most of the stuff that you would use generally if you're maybe setting up a role play series or you're doing a series or something like that, or you want to just do different stuff, or if something glitches out and doesn't work, or maybe you load a game and you're missing something, you can add it in or do whatever you need to do with this mod. Um, yeah, so it just kind of gives you a little bit more freedom to do different stuff. We are on Felsbrunn here. I started this out in new farm mode. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Um, so we're going to go through a few things here. So um, again, to open this screen, it's F11. You can use then escape to close it. So F11 down here resets everything. Are you sure you want to reset the current page to default settings? Yes. Okay. Everything is reset. I can hit remove background blare, glare or blur so I can see what's going on behind me or not. Up to you, there's a general tab, a environment tab, player tab, fields tab, and a vehicle tab. So we're gonna start off, we'll just go over here so we have some space. So if we go into F11 again, so we're gonna start off in the easy development commands here, general. So if you look, the first one is add or remove money. So if you look up in the corner, I have $98,996. Let's say I wanted to get rid of all that money, type a minus first, $900, $966 and it subtracted that amount from the account. Oh, they still have 30, my bad. F11, and we'll subtract another 30. And again, you just click in here, and then you just can click outside of the box or hit enter. Okay, so we have, now if we exit out of here, we have $0. Let's say I wanted $10 million. One, zero, one, two, three, one, two, three, perfect. And I click outside the box, adds 10 million. So um, the only thing that matters is you enter the minus if you're gonna take away uh, money so make sure you hit the minus so that's that that's what you need right there um yeah moving down or moving over down to here this can help you adjust your your fov so if we go into um you look out back there that's say 45 look outside lowers it down negative one we'll reset it so that'll put it back down you can do um you know 90 i don't know if that'll work or even i don't know all the field field views i don't know if you can do 180 or not yeah, so that's what happens if you do 180. <laughs> we'll go ahead and reset that. So there you are. Um, so update tip collisions, that just updates them all. And what a tip collision is, so if we turn it on and come out, if it's green, that means you can tip stuff there. You can dump stuff out of a trailer there. So that's what that is showing. It's showing us the tip collisions. You can't dump it on the road, so it's blue over here. So if you're wondering why you can't dump stuff somewhere, this may help you. As you can see, part of it's blue by the road, green all through here. Yeah, so that, that can help you out quite a bit if that's what you're looking for. So we'll turn that off again. Tip to ground, this is a fantastic function. So we're gonna go right here and we're gonna look down at the ground and let's say we wanted to give ourselves, you know, a thousand liters of wheat. Now it's, and these are the increments, a thousand, 10,000, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, up to 100 and then back down to zero. So if we do a thousand, it's gonna add a thousand liters in the ground and we can get this clear tip area to clear that out. Um, of course, it's we're still raised up in the air, but then if we wanted to do 20,000, do a big old pile of wheat, clear tip area, clears it all out again. Um, and you can do wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane seeds, TMR, chaff, wood chips, silage, grass, hay, straw, fertilizer, manure, pig food, lime, and back to wheat. So very useful tool. And again, this can clear out anything you have going on. Um, so yeah, the next thing we have here is if we look down, if we open up the map, and it says those coordinates down there. So it says right now we're we're at 984 by 1273. And we can, if we move side to side or back and forth, we go around. So 984, 1272, or whatever the case may be. Let's say we wanted to go to um, 1000 by 1000. That will take us to, now if we look down on the map, 1000 by 1000, and here's where we're at on the map. Now if I wanted to go back to where we're at, what was it, 985 space, 1750 or something i don't know something close to that it takes us well we're inside of a building here so maybe that did not work the way i wanted to f11 we're gonna go ahead and try something different <laughs> we'll go back to a thousand we'll do 500 this time 
Okay, now here we are over here, way up in the corner. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just to just to get us back to the map because I apparently don't remember the coordinates very well. Oh, so I said 17. I was doing I was doing 17, not 1200. So that explains it. Okay, um, let's go back into the F11 screen so you can teleport that way. Now, if we look on the map here, let's say I wanted to go to field 20. If I go F11, I can now set this to field 20. Now, sometimes this will be a little off. So did it actually work? It did, okay. Sometimes it will be a little off because this is thinking about areas on the map. So this goes up to field 33, which actually this one looks like it's set pretty solid, so it should work. Um, okay, uh, moving up, let's actually just go right back over here and actually, you know what? No, I'll hold off on that. Let me just go back and uh, we'll try our, our teleporting again. 980 space 1270 and then we'll hit teleport. There we go. That was a lot closer to where I wanted to be. So another thing you can do if we go into the F11 menu here is we can add bales. So straw square bale and there you can see it fell out in front of us. We can do hay. We can do grass. We can do silage and it just for every time you click. So if I click a bunch of them as you can see in the shadow. We X that out. We got just a load of them. Boom. And now, of course, you can do that for round bales as well. So do some straw round bales, some hay, some grass, some silage. And then you can also do it for cotton bales. So if we wanted to get a bunch of cotton bales in here and just overload this place, there you go. So, and these are all going to be full bales. So fantastic. Um, oh, I guess I can pick that one up, which is odd. Turn that off. We'll go over that in a second. Um, okay. Now we can do pallets of wool, so I can add pallets, and it's just gonna do that um, for all these in here. So wool, liquid fertilizer, tree saplings, fertilizer, pig food, and that's the that's an example of the solid fertilizer, pig food, eggs. Uh, the eggs is gonna be the box, so it's gonna give you a, a full box of eggs. So there you have that. Um, lime, seeds, herbicide, poplar. Yeah, so all that stuff in there for you. Now you can also add logs from one to eight meters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's a couple eight meter logs. If we want to spawn them in there, or if we wanted a bunch of small logs, then we could uh, do a bunch of one meter logs here. And you can just click as fast as you want to get as many logs as you want. So there you have it. There's some logs there. Back in here, cheat silo. So we do have a silo on this map since we started a new farmer. Let's say we want to have 500,000 liters of wheat. So it's 500 down to 200, down to 100, and then goes back down. All the way down to increments of a thousand is as small as you can go. So we're gonna let's say five hundred thousand. So added five hundred thousand liters of wheat, and let's do five hundred barley, five hundred oats. If we go into the menu here, we have it maxed them out, so only two hundred thousand liters each, because that's all it could hold. But um, and oh, actually no, it, it threw them into. So if you remember a new farmer mode, you start off with some crops like this one has eleven two forty eight. So it actually threw them into the other silos. So it's gonna be in the railroad silos on this map, which is awesome. Um, go back in here. And there's, um, yeah, so you can you can do that if you have cells available, which is pretty cool. Um, we're not gonna worry about any of this. We're moving over to the environment tab. So right now it is one o'clock, 114 out. Um, if we go into this menu again, let's say I want it to be nighttime. I can go to two in the morning and here we are, it's two in the morning. Now let's say I wanted it to be daytime again. I can scroll through, go back, do whatever you want. Um, you could use this by the way to, if you go to 24 and then back and then back 24 back back 24 excuse me you're skipping days um in game doing that so that's an easy way to skip game game days um especially works on seasons now these two bottom ones <laughs> do not work on seasons but they work on here so let's get us back into some daytime perfect okay so sun Boom, and it, it, you see that down at the bottom, it says select weather type you wish to add. So if you do cloudy, then now it reads at the bottom, added state cloudy starts in 16, 18 minutes. So you'd have to fast forward or do something to get to that point there. Um, before it's gonna start, you can start rain, 15, 58 minutes. So um, it will eventually start. So sun, cloudy, rain are your three weather options. Weather debug on off, and you can reload the weather data to kind of just reset the weather. You can reload the environment to kind of reset it. Um, these aren't terribly important. I'll go over to here. So the first of the options on the player spot is if we turn this on, that's the flight no HUD mode. So flight state on off. So if you look down at the bottom, it says use key J in game to toggle this feature. And then down below it says use key O in game to toggle this feature, HUD state. So flight state on off, you're gonna hit Q to go up, E to go down. And let's say I'm up here and I don't wanna use it anymore. I can hit J to turn it off, J to turn it back on, J to turn it off. Okay, and then so the HUD, if you see that in the upper left-hand corner there, if we go back into F11, so flight state is off. Now if we go off for HUD state, now everything's blank. I'm hitting nine right now and there's no map popping up. Now if I hit O, it turns it on, lower down the map, 
O turns it back off. O, O, end game. Um, now, if you don't want to worry about hitting O and J for that stuff, you can turn that on, just get it all back to normal and lock it like that. Super strength is great, so we turn that on. We can throw whatever we want. So if we wanted to get over here, we could, well, if I can get in there, we could just move this tractor and trailer combo and throw it out of the way or do whatever we want with it. You can move this. If you had swivel axle trailers, then you're like me, you don't like to hook them up. You could do this if you want. Oop, maybe it's not going to work. There we go. You could try to get them lined up so you could do a trailer chain easier. Move around like that. So there you go. So we can get in there, hook that up. Perfect. So and it works for bales, logs, anything else you might want to move. Um, so if you get a tractor stuck and you're just not sure what it's stuck on and you don't want to have to reset it because you don't think you should have to, then you can use that if you want. Woodcutting marker. So it's currently on. If we go over here, I have a log set out over here. So if we have a chainsaw out, you see the marker, the green thing that says where we're going to cut there and yeah, and stuff like that. Now if we go in there, we can turn that off. So now it's not, it's not showing up. You can still cut, but it's not showing up. So we'll just go ahead and leave that back to on since that's normal. Uh, back into this screen. We're not going to worry about any of our, well, we're not going to worry about these first three here. Uh, down here, buy, sell farmland. So I can hit buy or sell or off. So if I go to buy, I can buy all of it, which I already own all of it. And if I hit sell, I can sell all of it. And if we go nine, I, if you remember all those fields, they're all white. Now, if I go F11 and I hit buy all, now if I exit out, now they're all green. I own all of the fields and it didn't charge us any money up in the right hand corner, up in the upper right hand corner, we still have the same amount of money. So it didn't charge us a single thing. So we'll go back in there and you also can do this. So if I wanted to sell maybe a specific field, say I wanted to sell field seven, I could sell field seven. So if look on the map, I guess it's not going to sell field seven for me. Interesting. Oh, weird. It counted that as field seven. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and sell field two, field eight, field 12. So we should have four sold now. Um, if we look at the map, we have four chunks of land sold. We do one, two, three three and four. So that's where you kind of have to kind of guesstimate. So those aren't lining up with the fields because it's trying to give you the opportunity to buy every piece of land on here. Um, so those don't line up necessarily the way you want. That's the one I was thinking of over here, speed multiplier. So um, one times is just your normal speed. You can slow yourself down. So if we turn that on. We're now going way slower and this is us running. And then if we go F11, turn that up to one, which is the normal, then it's normal speed and running. Now, we also could bump that all the way up to A. Oh, we can go one times as well, but we're going to go to eight. Turn that on. We are, this is running, walking, running. And some of you have seen me use some of these various features on various map tours and stuff and doing different things. We'll just turn that off and you can leave it at eight. It doesn't do anything. Um, the warning is just up in the upper left-hand corner. It'll show you if you have your help screen on, whether or not you have this turned on or not. Extra time scale. This goes from... 250, 5, 750, 1,000, 15, 2,000, 25, 3, 35, and 4. And then you can turn it off. So we're going to go to, we'll just go 4,000 since that's the fastest one. Um, and there's a warning that's also going to be similar to this where it's going to display it on the screen. And what that means, so you can't go in here and you can't bump this up to that high speed. So we'll go back down to real time here. But if you know on your keyboard, if you hit seven, it'll slow down the time and eight will speed it up. So I'm hitting eight, 4,000. Seven down to slow it down, eight all the way up to, now the speed's going 4,000. So you can speed it up. If you're just waiting for something and you just want to do it real quick, just real quick, you just speed up and we're going to go through it. We can jump through the night completely quickly, if that's a correct way to put that. But okay, well, let's say we want to go back down to here. We can also go over here and we can now do that. So there you have it. Um, so that's how to use everything on this screen. The next one, um, let's go over to a field to show you this one. And sorry, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible, but there is actually quite a bit going on on this. So this is field 19 right here in front of us. So it's currently got, looks like wheat or barley or something to harvest. So we're gonna set the field fruit and we're at 19. It actually puts us to the closest one, which is nice. Um, oops, F11. So we're going to do oats and growth state one through eight. Um, we can change the fertilizer state and all that. So we'll hit remove background glare and we'll hit do that. So now it's oats in the first state, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, which is just two different colors on the map for harvest. And then eighth is withered. So if you those, so essentially, 
what's five yeah five six and seven didn't look like anything changed out there but if you go into here it will rotate through these three so one two three four or yeah five six seven so one two three four five six and seven and then eight is withered so there you have it for that um, and we also can do different crops too we can do most basic in-game crops so if we do uh we'll do five on uh sugar beets sure so we have sugar beets here ready to move to tops um so we can do all sorts of different things um if we go into the menu here and we zoom in on field 19 just to make it easier for us um we're going to go over to this so it has we're, if we're worried about all this stuff so there's no weeds in it fertilizer state none needs plowing needs lime and that's because f11 we have fertilizer state to zero plowing state is off so it's not plowed um it's not limed and it's not doesn't have any weeds on it so we're going to do growing we can do withered weeds growing weeds growing one or off we can turn the lime state to on we can turn it to 100 fertilizer and plowing state on so then if we set this to sure sugar beets now if we go into here there's no weeds because we didn't set any fertilizer states now too it doesn't need plowing and it doesn't need lime so that does that for you and if you don't own the field you can also use this tool to buy the specific field um, so this might be easier to buy the field instead of using the other function since this actually will line up with the field you're working with um, and this does not work this tool does not work and i've tried it on maps like no man's land where there are no fields so you have to create your own this only works with standard in-game fields so just be aware of that that is the one downside to it um, set spray so select spray state to use um, on or off okay and i actually don't I, i'm trying to think of what that would be as far as i'm thinking like fertilizer sprayer but i have no idea what that's going to work for you field ground so we're still on 19 let's say we want it to be cultivated so it's in a cultivated state plowed state oops let's hit enter there and we can change the angle of the plow so now it's 45 90 315 back to zero so you can do that uh sewing i don't think the sewing angle well i guess you can change it can't you yeah across that way so you can change all that stuff which is neat you can do fertilizer states over here as well plowing states on off weed state let's say we want um growing too so you have big weeds in there lime state on all this different stuff uh remove foliage i believe you can do if you had is that gonna work now because you'd have to mm, not sure what that's gonna do for us i'm thinking maybe remove tops but it doesn't do that so and again you can have buy farmland on or off over here as well so that's everything essentially in that you guys can play with that as much as you want and if you are on ishia farm where that's currently the only one to use um, grapes. And if you haven't seen my grape video, go check it out, how to plant grapes. You can change this to grapes on a Shia farm and plant them. You can't do that in other maps, but you can do it on that one. Over here, so these are all the stuff to do with vehicles. So we're just going to go hop in our tractor over here just to show these off real quick. I apologize. This video is going to end up being way longer than I expected it to be. Okay, so we're in our tractor here. We're just going to talk about the tractor here for a second. Uh, we can get that weight out of the way here okay so this tractor is brand new zero hours it's full on gas full of repairs if we go into the menu here we can um, we're not gonna worry about this 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 we can hit this to delete all vehicles period so actually we'll do that real quick yes there are no vehicles on this map so now we're gonna go into the store just for demonstration shake sake not shake <laughs> and we're just gonna buy that and if we tab, there's no other vehicles to tab to. I'm hitting tab. This is the one we have. So again, this is brand new. Zero on the hours. Repair level is full. Fuel is full. Um, this will remove all tire tracks on the map. So anywhere you've driven it will remove all those. Um, global wiper stayed on. So if I want the wipers working, I can do that. All the way up to, you can do up to five, which is going to get them moving as fast as they're going to go. So some vehicles may not have that function to go as far or as long as um, other ones. So reload vehicle standard so i can reset it where it's at or if i move it here for a second i can reset it back to the reset point so actually i believe that standard is where it's at but we're right on the store so let's get out of here and test that real quick and that was my understanding but it's not a function i use very often so if we want to reset it let's go to f11 reset standard okay yes so it does reset it right here versus f11 reset it's going to reset Oh, we didn't reset it, huh? Hmm. Reset, reset. Yeah, so I guess it doesn't do that. I'm not sure what the difference in standard reset would be then. Anyhow. Okay. So down here, 
set operating time let's say we want a thousand hours on this we do that click out of it and we're at a thousand hours this also works if i wanted to take 500 of those hours off oh no it doesn't actually disregard i just can reset it so i thought it was kind of like the money tool but um there's another one i don't use terribly often you can set the motor temperature if you want to um you can adjust the dirt amount so right now it's clean to we can adjust it to that's lowering it one is the full dirt amount so there it is um zero we can just take off half of the dirt or some of it or whatever you know you see it's still kind of dirty but if we wanted to clean it we could just do that just a wear wear amount is up to one is the so we look out that repair deal down there is all the way worn out and the tractor itself has uh, got signs of wear and stuff on it if it has that ability to do that so um okay go back into the screen here so we're going to set it back down to we could just set it you could lower it doing this or i could take half of it off or if you wanted to just set it to half you could just set it to half um, or you could just set it back to zero okay so there you have it um we're going to drive up to the farm to demonstrate this next um feature here possibly if we can make it up there thankfully on felsburn the farm is not too far away but the next feature we're going to show off is going to be um this this section right here and that's gonna be the last section we're gonna go over um in this video all right oh we don't have any trailers that's right well that's not gonna work for us anyways give me one second and i'll get this set up and i'll be right back with you all right here we are so first off we'll talk about just the tractor over here fill unit one there's no they're just changing around so you're on the john deere and this what you're what you what you're working on what you're filling or emptying is going to be up in the upper left hand corner what you have so if i have an implement it's going to be focused on so example if i hook up the trailer let's show this real quick if i go g well, actually that one might not work either because of that but uh so you have fill unit one so we don't have to detach since we can't adjust to it but on combines for example you can you hit the g key to toggle between the two but over here Fill unit one, diesel, def, or air, so I can fill all of those up if I want to. But if I hit empty, we don't have any fuel. It emptied out. Or I can fill it with fuel using that button. And then we have fuel. So now if we hook up to the trailer, F11, we're on the Strotman. So the Strotman, that's the trailer. I can fill it with wheat. And if you see out here, it's filled with wheat. I can empty it. I can fill it with any number of crop types that it's going to take. Um, I can go back and do which is just corn, empty, sugar cane, empty, whatever you want to do, um, which is pretty nifty. And that does work with implements, which is why I just put a cedar here. So it does fertilizer, sprayers, spreaders, anything like that, all the different implements. So if I go F11 here, I can have fill unit one, seeds, two is fertilizer, so I fill it with seeds and I fill it with fertilizer. Now this thing has both seeds and fertilizer, just as I can empty fill unit one. And if I go to fill unit two, fertilizer, empty that, now they're both empty. And that is everything you need to know about this. All the just the kind of basics to go over all that. Sorry for the video being so long. I expected this to be like a 10, 15 minute video, but it's definitely longer than that. So, well, anyhow, guys, if you enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you have anything that you thought I missed or anything I should do differently or anything you liked about the video, please drop that in the comments. And if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the channel. Anyhow, guys, this has been Farmer Cop. Thank you, and thank you for watching.